Thank you, Sandra. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I will give a very short overview of what the project is about, uh, how are we going to develop it, and finally, we'll show some first prototype. It's the first time that we are going to show it live, okay? So still much work to do with it. So the objectives. Uh, we want to develop a tool that allows us to, to observe the development trends and patterns at the level of the four macro-regional strategies and also for the whole EU. Here we have the four, the four regions, macro-regions involved. Uh, in this tool, we want to bring together statistical information, so palpable evidence, and the policy areas and objectives and targets in order to evaluate uh, the performance of implemented projects and policies in the macro regions and in the whole ESPON space. This will be a challenge because we have to remember that currently macro regional strategies have no specific funding or, or specific projects. So it will be a challenge to determine cause effect relations in this case, uh, as, as, uh, as Ivailo was pointing out in his intervention. So it will be a, a, a really a challenge to, to determine this. Uh, we hope to be able to identify uh, development opportunities and territorial challenges uh, to present the macro-regional strategies with, with some insight on the need of, of maybe reinforcing, maybe reorienting their objectives and, and policies, but also to, to identify, as Odd was pointing out before, uh, synergies between macro-regional strategies or lessons to be learned from other regions or from countries maybe in this case. How are we going to do this? Uh, we want to involve the stakeholders as much as possible uh, and receive from them relevant input in terms of indicators, goals, and tools that might be needed. Uh, and we will do that by setting up steering committees with each of the macro regions. Um, this will happen in two different rounds. So we will have a first round of meeting with the four macro regions. We will also have another meeting for deciding what to do with the, with the pan-European scale tool also. We will work on that and then we will meet again, see if the macro regions are happy with, with what we are developing and, and to refine it. We will do a research of available data sources, uh, both, let's say, conventional, such as classical statistical information from the ESPON database, from Eurostat, national statistical offices, uh, but also we will try to, to find innovative data, let's say even experimental, such as maybe social media data, big data, or grid spatial data sets at high resolution if possible, to cover for lack of information because uh, one of the lessons, for instance, from BSR Timo is that you have a lot of, of expectations. Uh, you de define lots of indicators that are very fancy. They will be very handy to have, but in the end we have no data to, to measure them or to construct them. So in this case, we will, we will start by uh, offering the, the possible sources of data and from take, taking into account these possible restrictions, try to, to, to come up with uh, indicators that can effectively be implemented. Then we will propose an architecture for the system. We already have some ideas on that and on that we have built uh, the prototype already and propose a set of online interactive tools that will be useful for the stakeholders. We don't start from scratch, as Sandra said, we, we, we are moving from the, the original ESPON territorial monitoring system that was developed in 2014 and BSR TIMO in this case. Uh, we will be evolving these systems according to the stakeholders' inputs. Our proposal is to have an online interactive tool that is highly visual, that is intuitive, and that is updated 
regularly, if possible, live updated without maintenance. We'll see how to do that. Uh, that easily conveys the messages that stakeholders want to talk about. For that, we have to build an, a specific database for the four macro-regional strategies because they are at uh, a level of aggregation that does not exist in any current database. With the challenge of getting the statistical information from countries outside ESPON space. And in general, another challenge is finding data that helps monitoring the specific objectives of each macro-regional strategy. Because as I said, sometimes objectives of defined indicators uh, don't have data behind to, to be able to construct them. We wanted to have a seamless connection to the new ESPON database, which is currently being developed through web services. And this means that ideally the tool will have direct connection to the new ESPON database. So all the core indicators there and all the key indicators from projects will be automatically uh, inserted into the macro-regional tool. And so we can automatically compute the needed indicators based on, on all this core and key data. Meaning also that whenever something changes, because the, the core indicators will be regularly updated on the new ESPON database, then we will, we will reflect this change automatically in, in our tool. That's why I said that it will be updated regularly and automatically if possible. We have uh, some ideas for the, for the tools that should be included there, but of course this will be decided on the stakeholder meetings. Uh, we have the idea of, of providing five preset profiles with a battery of goal-oriented indicators that are adapted to each macro-regional strategy, plus one more general module for the whole EU. We will have for sure interactive maps at different territorial uh, levels. Of course, not, not regions at, at all levels, but maybe we are open to, to, to integrate new, new or different territorial typologies. And also, we will have the macro-regional uh, typology also. We will provide a multidimensional chart creation tool. Uh, multidimensional because we will allow to play with, with time series, with geographical extension, and maybe other dimensions depending on the, depending on the, on the different indicators. Uh, we will also provide a customizable dashboard for graphing and mapping the indicators of a specific territorial unit, whether if it is the, 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 the whole macro-regional strategy, a single country, single natural region. And finally, we will have uh, dynamic comparisons between territorial units. Could we please change to the, to the tool? So now uh, I'm going to show you these first steps. Also taking into account that the, the project started in, in mid-February, so we didn't have much time yet, but, but... No, not working. Okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, we have the, let's say, the core of the tool going on already. Uh, the, the look and feel will have to be adapted to, to ESPON standards, of course, but we have started creatively. So the idea is that we will have several options, of course, uh, searching information, mapping, comparing, downloading data. We, can, we will be able to search dynamically whatever we want, and it, it will be very, very easy here to, to search because this, is, this will be an autocomplete where you can just input a part of a name in, in any script too. So it will be working in Cyrillic, in, in Greek, and whatever. We'll have the access to, to the, the four macro regions. This is still not developed yet. Uh, and then, just as an example, <coughs> Let's open up Bulgaria. And that's the, the kind of idea we have in mind for the dashboard of indicators. As I said, this, this will be available for the macro region, for any country, or for any 
nuts uh, level. So we will have some aggregated indicators in a visual, presented in a visual way. Then we can have several possible areas, economy, demographics, health and safety, education, housing, living, and whatever we decide with the stakeholders. Uh, and then the idea is to, to have these kind of infographies that are also, uh, as you see, interactive, so you can navigate back and forth to, to whatever you want. Uh, we'll be presenting these dynamic graphics. Again, we'll be able to, with, with that, to do many things, export as an image, maybe share. That will be fancy because but just by, by inserting a, a HTML link, you will be able to display this data outside the tool. So everything will be easily shareable in this case. Okay. Uh, we will be able to do things like, for instance, uh, to add, I don't know, a comparison. So by adding a comparison, we see how our country or region does uh, compare to, to, to another one, to the average of the European Union. Uh, any more things that are still uh, on, on development. Here we have another map. And we'll have also a mapping facility, as I said, that allows us to, to dynamically create these maps. Uh, from our knowledge in the, in the previous territorial monitoring system, we built a very fancy tool it was a bit slow. So we, we learned the lesson and we have changed the technologies. Uh, of course, now we have, four years later, we have much, much faster technologies that allow us to, to, to make this uh, work in a faster way. And as you see, the idea is to have an interactive map. We'll see about the, the official spawn layout. What do we do with it? Uh, how to integrate it, of course. Uh, and yeah we'll have data at all, all nuts, uh, nuts levels, and then it will be, well, it should zoom in. It's not zooming in <laughs> correctly now. Okay, you see that's, that's the kind of tool that, that we're going to build. Uh, we will have all the, all the different types of indicators here to, to choose from them. And as you see, everything is integrated, so from the profile, you can go to specific data set, then explore the map, then do whatever you want with it. Okay, so for the moment, it's an open tool that we'll see with the, with the stakeholders how to, how to concrete things in the next two and a half years. So thank you very much.